hard to get somebody once you actually have them in a good control because they just keep their hands really tight. Um, so this will be probably one part of what I do. Um, I quickly switch my hips to like a wrestler sit out or go to twister. So we'll go over some of the like wrestler side out stuff. So, um, go ahead and switch right over. so once I have a really good side control, right? I have this arm dead. I have control of that arm dead. I'm pulling him into me, dropping my shoulder down. And he's just, he keeps his hands in. There's really nothing I can do. I can't really go to get a good underhook to start going for arm bars or things like that, right? He's really strong. It's hard for me to push. Um, what I'll do, from here is I'll do a sit out okay so what I have to think about what I'm gonna do first there's a wrestler sit out which is like a head and arm and then there's one where just I have the underhook if I can get the underhook or I have to make sure that I stay in deep what I usually do from here is I'll try to as I'm bringing them in I'll lift it up a little bit there's just a little bit of movement so I can start getting this underhook and I'm just gonna squeeze my hand palm of the mat right under once I have this position it's easy for me to lean forward and switch my hips here to get this position, okay? There's also a, uh, a head and arm, which is a little bit trickier because if he knows what he's doing, he can start taking my back. So from here, what I would have to do is I have to cup his head and bring his head off the mat, okay? And now that I have that position, now I can switch my hips to get into this position, okay? So whatever I'm doing, I have to keep control. If, I, if I'm here, and I start just going for his head. If he brings his hand on the inside of me here, all he has to do is shuck his elbow and now he's taking my back and I'm in a weird position, okay? So that's why if whatever way I'm, I'm going, whether I have the arm or not, I have to get this position first, get his head off the mat, okay? Now from here, I'm not even gonna hold this arm, try to take my back. He's kind of stuck and that's why it's easy for me to continue to get this sit out position, okay? So I need to control that. And if I'm getting the arm, it's the same thing. If I don't have this underhook and I start trying to turn, I'm gonna be off balance and he can just start pushing me. Start coming up uh, and taking me for that side control position. So I have to make sure I get this underhook under, flat on the mat, and now when he tries to bring that elbow down or something, I'm already heavy and I can get this position, okay? Um, so the first thing that we'll go over is as soon as I get to my underhook position here, I need to keep my head at least in the middle of his body. If I start getting too heavy here, somebody stronger even not, I'm just, he's just gonna throw me over, okay? Where if I can keep my head even with his or down, it's harder for him and he can't roll me. Okay, and that's what I want. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with the arm here is I'm going to keep my head down to his so he can't just roll me. I'm gonna reach to grab his, his wrist, okay? And now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab right at the wrist and I'm gonna bring this arm over, okay? As I bring this arm over, if I'm strong enough or big enough or my legs are big enough, I can usually just get the arm bar, but some of you flexible shoulders, if you can see, you see what his arm does, his shoulder comes up. So it's gonna be hard for me to get if somebody's flexible. So from here, if I'm gonna try to get it that way, I have to keep my chest on his shoulder and press down. But what I like to do from here, because it takes just a lot of leverage, um, it's easier for me to do without as much leverage, is I'll just bring my leg over, just like this. Okay, and now that I'm in this position, I can either bring it under, and all I have to do is bring my knee down, and from here, this hand that's open, I can just keep it on his shoulder. Because now I have that, that fulcrum point to finish that armbar, just like that. Where if I don't, see how shoulder comes up? I control the shoulder first, now in that position, his hand is like behind my calf and it's kind of stuck there, so he can't just like drop it down and get rid of it. So once I get here, it's really easy to finish that armbar. I'm just kicking my hamstring down like that and down towards the mat, and it's easy for me to finish that armbar because I'm locking the shoulder here in place. All right, so that'll be one of them and we'll go over another one later.